So, secret, this is for you. I had you uh, in my YouTube ask me how to make the uh, yoke line. And I'm going to tell you what you want to do is for this video, I'm going to show you this. What you're going to do in this term to learn it is you're going to want a string and you're going to want to have it where it's one and a half times your hands spread farthest apart from each other because your hands spread out like this is roughly how tall you are. So one, match it together, two. All right, so whenever you have about, you know, eight feet or so, so that's roughly what this is, about eight to eight and a half foot segment. What you're gonna do is first off is you're gonna tie, your, after you've mated your two ends, you're gonna tie a small loop right here. But I want you to actually fold, all right, you see how I got the loop? I got this whole loop. What you're gonna do is you're actually gonna fold your loop, all right, in one full time. That way you have two. And you're gonna tie it like that. Now the reason you do that, and you're like, well I already had that partial loop, why can't I just stick with that? And I'll show you why in just a moment. Now I'm gonna try and speedy through this a little bit. Now once you have this loop, the reason you want two, and you want it like this, is because the force and the weight of your project won't just be on one loop, it'll be on two loops, thus doubling the tensile strength. So you can go ahead and put that on there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make my other two ends. And since we're already working with two ends here, it's not exactly necessary. And now you see why you need at least eight feet roughly for this type of a deal. What you're going to do is you're going to make a loop out of these two ends here, which is going to give you two loops. Again, the idea of two being better than one and, you know, safety is important and all those videos you laugh at whenever you have to sit there and watch them because of safety. But there you go. Essentially, that is the knot. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is once you find out how it is going to go on, all right, once you have it where it will go on, you've got your, your loops at the right size, what you do is you pull it as tight as you can, put it on your finger, grab both strings, and you find exactly where the center point is. Now once you've done that, you can mark it with a line, you could tie a little string there, or you could put one turn, make sure they stay turned, otherwise it'll come apart on you and it'll be a spring, and then boom, you have your knot in your center, and your two outriggers, okay? That is how you do this. Thank you for asking how to make a, a hassock or a yoke line or however you want to call it. It's been called dozens of things through history, but essentially it's the same thing. It's a yoke, all right? People have been using it to carry baskets. You could even do use this with a much larger rope and even make a swing if you wanted to, because it works just the same. People picked up entire cars with this exact same setup. But thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe.